my love, please. Uh, whoa. Can you hear some? What's up? Anyway, I'm really excited for today's video. We're gonna do a drugstore makeup look using drugstore products I've never tried before. Um, there's actually like a couple in here that I would I used to wear when I was like 15, 16 at school. I used to love them apparently. So we're gonna try them again now that we're 21 and all. I bought like a full face of like what I would actually use. Like this is gonna be, I'm gonna do like a winged eyeliner with red lip, very like classic look. That's why I'm wearing. Very, cla oh, she classy. Let's get into it. I'm so excited. Hope you guys like this video. I am really excited to film it for some reason. <laughs> very excited. Let's start off with the Hydrating Lip Oil by Burt's Bees. I've never tried Burt's Bees before, but I've heard so many amazing things about them. So I was like, let's try it. This has got grapefruit, no, passion fruit oil. And it literally sounds like passion fruit. And it reminds me of those drinks that I used to drink when I was like 14 and get really fucked up off them. Shit, what were they? Oh, some type of RTD. Really, really sugary, really, really. Obviously, the flavor was fashion fruit. This brings back so many memories. I don't know if they're good or bad. Hmm. Okay, so let's get into the moisturizer because I did include moisturizer in this. Now, I get this used on me every day when I go on set because all the makeup artists have this. It's the em Ember Release. If you're a model, you'll know what the hell this is. <laughs> um, it's a moisturizer makeup primer moisturizing mask. Um, and it always feels good. I've just like never bought it and I haven't really paid attention to what it feels like on my skin when I'm shooting because I just get makeup put on straight after it. So, let's give it a go. Okay. I just don't know how much to use. Also, I burnt my finger last night really freaking badly. Can you see it? So now I'm trying, I'm like, here, yeah, let's just do this. Okay, let's zoom just because it feels really dewy. I obviously do a lot more on my face when I actually do like a skincare routine, like, you know, every day. So it feels kind of random that I'm just doing a moisturizer, but it's nice and dewy. So, and it feels a little bit sticky. So I feel like that's where like the makeup primer comes in. This, my actual primer for today will be the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. Yeah, I've used it up since I was like, yeah. Anyway, we finally got the thing open. So let's go in with this. I'm just gonna use my fingers because, oh, it comes out like a mousse, moussey. Like I thought it was gonna come out like, you know, like those highlighter drop things, but anyway, let's, oh my God, is that too much? Okay. It doesn't smell like anything like at all. Okay, so what I'm seeing right now is just not, it's slight, but it's like golden. And I feel like now I have like weird golden patches all over my face. And it feels real weird. Oh my God. I never use primer though. So like maybe I don't even know what I'm talking about. So let's go in with um, Fauna Deschamps. So I didn't know this, but Neutrogena has a makeup line which I had no idea because I'm obsessed, you guys will know, with the makeup wipe things. I'm obsessed with them. So I was like, let's give the makeup line a go. So this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup with Titanium Dioxide Sunscreen, SPF 20. I literally just color matched from the fucking bottle as I was looking at it. So I was like, oh yeah. That was how I did it. Anyway, I got the color Nude 40. And I'm gonna go in with the brushes and shit that I always use because when I'm playing any games, this is how I would do it usually. It's okay. And then, as you guys will know, I take my Eco Tools Angled Foundation Brush to just apply this. Please be color match to me. Okay, and then we're just at the same time going to take angled sculpting brush by Mixer, Mix, 
Mixa. Mika? I'm blending that out. So it seems to be pretty light coverage. Oh, okay, so it's more matte than anything I'm finding. It's nice. I'm gonna conceal that, for sure. So this is the one that I was talking about that I used to use when I was like 15 every day for like two years. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Conceal. I loved this when I was 15, so let's see if I still love it now. Um, I use the NARS concealer now, and I love that one. It sometimes can be a bit too cakey for what I like, so let's see if this is a little bit less cakey. Maybe we go back to Fit Me Maybelline. Ooh, yeah. So it's much more watery. It feels really smooth. So I just did a little bit on there. This color, by the way, is 20 Sand Sable. Okay, cool. So that's all done. I love that concealer. I remember why I love it now. Next, let's do this cream contour. I've never done it. So let's figure it out. Okay, so I got the e.l.f. one, um, so this is what it looks like, and then I open it up, and it looks like this. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to start there and, like, see how we go. And then I'm going to take another finger and go in with that white one. I'm going to go under it. Because I'm excited. And then maybe a little bit here and down here because that's always fun. Or maybe a little bit here too. So I just have like this big angled flat br uh, side brush. Fluffy so I thought this might work. Mm. Actually, it's not too bad. And I like it very subtle. So I'm not going to go any crazier than that. Um, let's blend out this white. It's actually really just a really nice little contour. I don't know if I would use it again. Like I would rather just like kind of do my bronzer. But maybe on like a night out when I'm really feeling like doing my makeup, I'll, I'll chuck this in again. Let's see. But yeah, it was really creamy, so it was really like easy to blend out. I want to get eyebrows out of the way because I like to just, you know, frame frame it all and then go from there. So I got this. It's the Soap and Glory Archery 2-in-1 Brow Sculpting Crayon and a Setting Gel. So Sculpting Crayon, Setting Gel, I think looks like that i got the color i'm nervous about the color that's what i was nervous about i got it in love is blonde um i have blonde brows for sure now the only thing is is this doesn't come with like a spoolie so i'm just gonna use like my one so i'm just gonna go in and see what happens So I guess that was fine. I mean, the color is the exact same as my eye, my actual eyelash, uh, my my eyebrows. Let's go in with the setting gel. I should have zoomed you for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, I'll give you a close up. Okay, so I've got three products here. These, this is my blush, my bronzer, and my highlighter. So I chose, I've never tried this, but it's the Milani Baked Blush. Um, and this was such a thing when I was younger for all like the makeup artists that I would watch. Excuse me, you're eating my eye. Oh then next is the Soap and Glory Wonder Bronze. Um, I don't even know what this color looks like because 
there's no like you know you can see inside of this one you can see inside of this one but i don't know i can't see anything so i just winged it so it's um called sundays with a z okay so i don't know if this really looks like a bronzer but it's like this it's like glittery and for my highlighter i got a wet and wild one um it looks really gorgeous so i was like fuck it i'll pick this up it's called precious petals which i really like that that's really pretty anyway it looks so pretty so i was like let's do this so firstly i go in with bronzer so let's try this bronzer out this is an eco tools brush it's a fluff brush um This one looks more like a blush than anything. So it's fine. It's just a little bit like I feel like it's a little bit too. Oh, it's messy too. Um, it's a little bit too like orangey for me. I like a bit more of like a matte bronzer and it's like too shimmery. Number one, just for like the look and what I like in general. But like you know, if you're going for that. I'm really excited to try this because it was such a freaking hype. Ah! It was such a hype and, you know, if it's not good, like, I feel like my childhood has gone to waste. So they have a little brush in here, but I'm going to use my, um, this is Zoeva. Zoeva Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush. Maybe I put on too much because, I mean, that was just like the normal amount that I would do usually. But let's just like blend this out and see what happens. Cause it's a nice color. It just, yeah, it just needs to be blended. I think I just put too much on it. But what I'm seeing is um, my concealer is creasing a little bit. And my other, my NARS one doesn't really crease. So I don't use powder like often, but maybe I do with this conceal, which is fine. I have like one powder that I own and you know, I chuck it on for these times. Okay, so let's go in with the highlighter. Let's use, this is the Sephora Highlight Illuminator Brush. This is actually such a pretty brush. See, I like this. A little bit of nose. I like that. I really like that, actually. Look at it. That's a good one. I would recommend that one. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is my eyeliner and my mascara. So I've got an actually really fun eyeliner that I've never seen before. But let's get it because... I'm really nervous to use this. Um, where is it? So, Revlon apparently came out with a new liquid eyeliner, and the tip is just a bit weird. So, it's like a wheel. You have to see this. Do you see this up here? It's like a roll on wheel. Now, I've only ever done eyeliner with, like, you know, a brush or like. A point tip like a pin situation so let's give it a go this is what it looks like this is oh my god this is how mini the wheel is oh I'm so scared okay But I just need to tell you, I feel like this is easier than anything I've ever done. But also, I'm using one hand and normally I would like stabilize my face. So, but the fact that I'm just doing this like this is like hectic. We're just gonna stop right there before we fuck everything up. Um, anyway, so that's the eyeliner on. I just did like two little flicks. 
And now let's go into mascara. You have to be mindful that I have a lash lift and tint right now. So this might not be like a very great first impression of this. I got this Maybelline, um, what is it called? Total Temptations. Oh yeah, that's a very big fluffy brush. And the product seems very thick from what I can tell right now. Let's give it a go. I'm excited to try this one actually because I just want a new mascara. Does anyone get that sometimes? They're just like, just give me a new mascara. Okay. Woo! This is, sorry, all of that, that always, because my lashes are so long, they get on the top. But other than that, they're very separated and um, they're very big and very long. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Okay, let's do the other eye and see what happens. <laughs> For a night out, this is very, um, It gets the job done, let's just say that. Oh, just another quick thing that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back in with that bronzer that I have on my cheeks and go in with a little brush. Let's just go in with this one. Um, this is the MAC 219 brush. So I'm just gonna go in with one of these colors on this little wheel, bronzer wheel. Let's just have a dig into the gold and the the deeper brown right here. And I'm just going to go under here with it. Okay, anyway, so I just added that little touch. It's nothing crazy. Um, so let's go in with the last step because I don't know how long my camera has until it's going to die again. Um, the red lip. So let's do it. It's the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid. Amazing. So I got in Rebel Red. So I just cleaned off my lips, scrubbed them a little bit. That's why they look really pink. Um, now I'm thinking, do I just go, oh, maybe I do just go in with the brush because it's a very nice brush. So number one, it's very creamy. I like that for sure. It's a very like thin tip, so it makes it very easy to apply this. I'm going to clean up the edges because I find my cupids were really hard to do. Okay. So yeah, I really like this look. It's my go-to when I go out, apart from the red look, red, red look, red lip. Um, I don't know what I used to do this look a lot, but now I don't really do it that often probably because I have a boyfriend and I just like kissing too much <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I just kind of do like the winged eyeliner without the red lip, but I do like this color I wish it I mean it feels like a lip balm. So I feel like I'm gonna be that girl that's gonna be like And it's just gonna go everywhere because like the other I used to use the Mac one the matte one and it used to just stay all fucking night. Like I'd wake up and it'd still be on my lips and I'd be like, <laughs> great. But this I feel like would move, like it's not a matte liquid. Like it's still not matting at all. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you did. If you didn't, that's cool too. Have a really good night and I'll see you guys in my next video.